Welcome to the AN94 Gold Camel Guy within Modern Warfare Season 5. As of most people knowing how to get gold on assault rifles and just guns in general, I'm going to give you guys a lot of gun tips and tricks on how to excel with the gun itself, as well as give you tips and tricks for each camo category and how to fast and efficiently complete those camo challenges. If you guys have seen past assault rifle guides in the past, you guys already know what this video is about. We're going to speed through it. We're going to do the camo categories and the weapon overall. If you guys already have Damascus and are working towards this weapon, just know that once you get gold, you will unlock Damascus. If you have gold on all your assault rifles, you will get platinum. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. There's 100 overall camos in 10 categories. Um, so pretty straightforward stuff. I'm also going to go through my attachments. My attachments are the same as every other assault rifle I use just because I like using assault rifles in a specific way. But without further ado, let's get into my attachments on the muzzle. It's the monolithic suppressor, not a surprise, increased damage range and sound suppression. For my optic, I have the 4 times flip hybrid. It's just my favorite optic. I can switch back and forth between a holographic at like a 0.5 magnification and then the 4 times magnification, which is fun to use. For my underbarrel, I have the Ranger 4 grip just for that recoil control because you might actually need it sometimes. And the ammunition, I got the 60 round casket mag. And for my perk, I got fully loaded, so I'm never worrying about ammo. Alright, let's talk about this gun and some things you guys should know. If you haven't used the AN-94, when you shoot it, the first two bullets shoot very quickly and very accurately. Your gun will basically have no recoil on the first two bullets. If you're smart with this, you can almost use this as a burst function and then burst fire the first two bullets every time and become extremely accurate and extremely deadly at long range. The recoil isn't that bad with this gun, but at long range, you can get outgunned by obviously snipers and marksman rifles and the Bruin LMG, but at those medium ranges, you can get outclassed by most assault rifles in the recoil category. I think based off of recoil, the only gun that the AN-94 beats is the FR-556 and then maybe the Ram 7. But other than that, it has one of the re other than that, it has one of the worst recoil patterns within the assault rifle category, but r honestly, not that big of a deal for close medium range combat. And then for those long range combat, you actually have the two first shots you fire being two no recoil very accurate high precision shots. The damage is honestly pretty decent in core. In hardcore, it acts very similarly to the M13, where it's a one-shot headshot, a two-shot body shot, and then sometimes it takes three bullets to kill depending on your range. So if you are playing hardcore like I am, you may want to consider playing core if you don't like not having one shot potential for all ranges within hardcore. Other than that, the gun's pretty good. On a scale of one to 10 in the assault rifle category, I'd give it a six. You know, it's not the best gun, but it's still reliable. Going into the challenges now, first off, spray paint, 800 kills. You need a lot of kills, but you will complete this as you focus on your other challenges like Woodland, which is 125 headshots, aim for the head. If you're struggling with headshots, go to hardcore or realism only because it is guaranteed one shot kills to the head every time so your first couple shots don't have to be accurate but as long as you end up hitting the head you will be guaranteed a headshot kill digital is going to be 160 crouch kills best game modes to do this are objective game modes such as headquarters hardpoint domination go to the objective that the enemies are going towards and crouch in a very good spot where you are going to see lots of traffic and get lots of kills of course in gunfights instead of drop shotting just go into crouch when you normally get into gunfights which would force yourself to get crouch kills and if you are very lazy go into ground war get a really good camping spot and then crouch all the time next up we got hip fire kills, 75 of them. Shipment 24 seven, you can theoretically and actually do this in a single game, depending on how good you are. But if shipment 24 seven is not an option, do objective game modes where you can get close to the objective and close to the enemy. And of course, if you're just playing a game mode like kill confirmed TDM, just don't aim in. Dude, just don't. That's how you do the challenge. Don't aim in. Easy. Splinter, 100 long shots, 
If you go to ground war, most kills you will get are long shots if you're keeping your distance from the enemy spawn. Straight up, easy to do. If you're more of a core player, play 10v10 maps, which will be Grozna Raid, Euphrates Bridge, stuff like that. Big maps to get you some good range. Of course, next is going to be Topo, 100 mounting kills. This ties in with long shots. If you try to do both of these at the same time, you will end up completing both the Splinter and Topo category very quickly. Of course, Shoot House, you have that middle lane, which is really good for long shots and your mounted kills. I played a game and I think I got like 43 mounted kills on the very first game that I unlocked the challenge. So I got a lot of progression done. Uh, of course, you can mount anywhere on almost every single map. Just find those areas that are a little bit further away from the high traffic areas, but those have to look over the high traffic areas. So you can just basically see all the action and get some easy mounted kills. Tiger is 180 kills with five attachments. As long as you got five attachments on your gun, you're gonna be getting lots of kills towards Tiger. Stripes is 50 kills shortly after reloading. Honestly, the most annoying challenge for this entire gun. Once you reload, five seconds, and you got to get a kill within that five seconds, and that's a kill shortly after reloading. Double kills, triple kills, multi kills all count. Every kill, as long as it happens before the five seconds is up once you reload, will count towards stripes. Reptile is 110 kills with no attachments. By this point in gun progression, you should be done spray paint. So 110 kills with no attachments should not be hard whatsoever. Skulls, three kills without dying, as long as you don't die, and you can get three kills, you're good to go. That's it. That's the AN-94 Gold. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did, dislike if you didn't. Check the description for some Damascus Camo playlist and map guides for Season 5. Uh, subscribe for more videos in the future. Check the Discord link in the description where you can come chill with me and the homies. I'm about to head out. And if there is one, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.